we are going to the stand up paddle in Sundalong Park and then right over here I can see that just right at the front over there will be the car for the paddle thing and right over here and they are already preparing the paddle over here hi morning I'm the one so uh, Mallory my client will be come over here in a short while so what we're going to do is I will just let them to set up everything over here first then we will get put all our stuff into the car so at Sembalong Park right over here, there is a changing room facility, shower facility. Um, today the weather looks pretty good. So wait, just let's wait for Marilyn and then we will go to start the briefing. Good morning! Hello. You are very matched with the colour eh? <laughs> orange, orange and yellow. We are going to change first and then we will do the briefing in the shower. Marilyn and myself, we did the stand-up paddle before so that no, nothing much about the briefing. So we will just go straight away now. We are going to bring it down to the beach. Hey, the weather seems good. The water quality seems good. There are people, someone is snorkeling right over there. Everything looks good. I'm quite excited now. <laughs> All good. Weather is good. Yeah, perfect, right? So, if you're going to join this activity, make sure that you bring along uh, drinking water, snack, and then don't wear spectacles, sunglasses. Like make sure that you have something to hold on your sunglasses. And everyone going to the water now. So for this activity, it's just only Mallory and myself. Very clean water. Oh, a little bit cold. When you carry the standing stand up pedal, so make sure that take good care of the fin at the bottom. So when put it down the water, go somewhere deep, so you will not break anything. And what we are going to do now, stand up secure your stuff if you're not good in balancing then maybe you need to go with the kayak if you have a very good balance just try this stand up pedal it is more flexible yep so everyone up already so let's go getting low tight now and then they are deciding to go are you going outside or inside okay they are going to outside i'm going to inside then she seems like enjoying a lot so what you need to do is that uh, you can just knee down yeah like that so in case of like strong wave or strong wind we are almost like quarter of the journey i'm not sure why two of them knee down now maybe too windy so we are continue over so far i'm still enjoying this the weather is nice it's like very calm not much of the wave so balancing is quite easy we are having a break over here because i, I believe that melarine is just right at the back so Rest a little bit. I will not going to give her to rest until we paddle to the river, <laughs> to the what? Sungai Simput, Simpang. Seems like Melarine enjoy. Hello. Like it, right? It's not bad, right? So we are like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello. So I think that it's quite so I recommended for everyone to join this. It's quite safe right over here. The yeah. wave is not that strong, but you need a good stamina on your arm and your core, right? Yeah, so later we are going to the river and then we'll show you more about the experience. Oh, there's a little bit of wave over here, but sadly to see this kind of place, a beautiful shore with, filled with full of rubbish. So yeah, if you are, maybe the rubbish are from over there, maybe it's from other sea around. So if any one of you do your best part, do not litter, do not throw all the rubbish. If you have time, pick it up and then throw it in the bin. And two of them is still at the back. So I'm going to wait for two of them in a short while and just enjoy a little short break over here. Happy that the weather is not that hot. It's still cloudy, but you'll get burned of course. So Melarine is just right over there. Yeah. And then we are almost, we are at the entrance of the river and a lot of people are playing the wake surfing. Yeah. <laughs> All good. Here is quite shallow, you know, you use the pedal to poke down. Yeah. Yeah, lor. Do you need a break? No? Okay. Be gentle over here. And wow. This is a beautiful part. Is that we can go in during the high tide from this side? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, so during the high tide, you can just go straight all over there. And yeah, if your eyes sharp enough, you might see some viper, uh, crab, some fishes, 
some smart skipper and yeah sometimes you might see jellyfish as well we are lucky on time that's not too shallow now we can just do a short detour over here when you go further in you will not see any building of like Singapore buildings and you don't feel like you're in Singapore it's very peaceful it's very quiet so this is one of the part that I think is totally value and worth for the experience to come over here to try this and if I'm not wrong there is a boat over there right it's a sunken boat can you see the jellyfish Woo. so yeah there's a natural place that you might bump to jellyfish or some fishes and where <laughs> no worry, no worry. First time to see otter. It's my first time to see otter in Singapore. A lesson learned that do not scream too loud when you see the otter. You scare them away. And I'm feel quite lucky. It's my first time to see otter and in a big family as well. In Singapore, they are very cute. <laughs> Yeah, it's totally worth to come over here because uh, you don't really feel like you're in Singapore. You feel like in Sarawak or in some kind of the uh, hmm, wow, totally worth for the time, the energy, and the money. I saw the lizard monitor lizard on the tree. Can you see that? So I think the otter family is like, going to attack the monitor lizard as well. I saw about three kingfisher bird over here beautiful blue color bird flying around so i think this is a perfect place for them to have a lot of free fishes and free meal i'm not sure it's the sounds from the kingfisher though yeah. it is oh what do you think now it's in the very cool right to come inside of this little secret river so i'm going to paddle towards a little bit more Hopefully I can see some snake and I share with you all. <laughs> you poke, poke the feather, poke the feather on the ground. Wow. Uh, stop, stop there, stop there, yeah. Okay, now you can pedal straight. We are going to do a uh, one circle on this small little island and then we're going to have a break over here the water right over here is not that muddy because that the water here is more still no wave and then not much of the activity disturbing yep let me do a one round tour and then we'll enjoy my light snack and beer bring your own beer like this you see that yeah that's my beer it is just so peaceful right over here i enjoy the peacefulness here chilling weather and I'm going to hit too. I have to paddle with care now because it's a little bit shallow. A lot of branches are on the water bed. And then the water, the fin. Oh my god, I see crabs. There are some crabs on the over there. Okay, so I have to paddle carefully so the fin underneath the stand up paddle board will not get uh, damaged. I'm not sure you can see the crab though. to show you the otter just right up front so you look carefully they are not crocodile they are otter. It's a big family. Okay, 
okay we'll see you in the camera i'm glad that the boat didn't come over here so they will not disturb the otter family it's break time it's uh, quite shocked to have a break over here on the water hopefully that the otter family will come and join us <laughs> I do bring a beer, so I put a water um the cooler, and then I can have a cooling a uh, cooler beer later. Mm. And while enjoy your meal, be careful because like, the wind will blow you away to the shore. Come by. Oh, damn shot, I tell you. You should do that. Bring your alcohol. High content or low content doesn't matter. Alcohol make the trip better. While having my lunch halfway, I thought of something like what if someone need to poo or wee wee in, on the boat in this place. So the advice from the guide was saying that just jump to the water and poo. And based on their experience, they're saying that some of the poo poo will float up, <laughs> some will sink down. So be careful that when you poo, so I try to move along when you uh and you poo so that your poo poo will not stain on your life jacket or your your body. Other than see the fishes, you also can see some dog over here. Toki toki. They are a little bit aggressive though. Oh, lots of the boat is like doing the wake surfing beside me so when the wave is getting too strong stay low it will keep you more balanced and safer for you yep can you see that so if you are not good in balancing um, when some the boat fly over with you or the like, speed up beside you just stay low it'll keep you safe right at the front so it's actually it's a sunken boat uh, come at the low tide you'll see more thing see more clear how the structure looks like now we are padding padding back now it's quite annoying that lots of the boat around here there's another doggy over here look like them having a fun or enjoying the sun tanning I'm not sure the same dog though hi doggy so currently everyone at the back and then um, going forward alone first currently it's a high tide now so we can do a detour from this direction back to the beginning oh there's another dog over here hello he looks sad though i'm not sure whether how they get the food maybe they eat a lot of seafood here a lot of fish i have back to the land safe and then melarine is still right far far away right over there so far, I think this is a really fun experience. So I'm going to check with her about her experience for this uh, stand-up paddling together with us later. Are you surviving? Yeah. yeah. Tired? We're done. <laughs> it's, it's less than it's about two and two hours and forty-eight minutes only. Very fast. Yeah. My legs are a little bit like jelly, though. <laughs> you paddle so fast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we come back to this land, it's like full of people. It's like if you are if you're not into this like better thing, you can also come to this beach. It's very cool. It's a very small beach in Singapore. We come back fishing. <laughs> yeah, yes. We are just left the stand-up paddle activity so far. I quite like it. I would love to go back again for high tide and extreme low tide so we can see more things. So I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit tiring, tiring because I, when, when I reach to the land, I step down from the land, my legs are a little bit like jellyish. Is that happened to you? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit, right? But I quite like that this stand up better that you can actually stand up, you can sit down, you can squat, you can just uh, be comfortable on the paddle itself. So I do recommend you all to come over here, try come on weekday, it will be better, there's less crowd and then clean water. But there's no guarantees of the 
weather and uh, water condition because uh, anyways it's an uh, open seas the the rubbish might flow over and then but the uh, it's quite clear for today so we are happy with this so i hope you like the video and then if you have any question you can just drop me a message and i will share with you uh, i can answer you whatever i can and then do join them and call them